Intention beads, believe and achieve. Link in the description below. Hello, fabulous superstar Capricorn. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of August, 2020. Looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a remarkable astrological month right out of the gate. You will feel the energy building towards the full moon that takes place right around the third, give or take a day on either side, depending on where you are on the planet. Now this full moon is going to be setting up a T-square with Uranus. This is a larger configuration. It does represent tension and frustration, but also motivation as well. In fact, I do think that you need squares to get things done. This is a larger T-square, which means the sun on the opposite side and the moon are both speaking with Uranus, and in this case, with precision at this full moon. For you, this full moon is taking place in a part of the sky that has to do with a few different things. Self-esteem and self-worth are at the forefront at this time. And you may be getting some sort of a wake-up call where it comes to your understanding of how much self-value you actually have. You may get a chance to demonstrate and to show yourself and perhaps others that you do actually have a healthy sense of self-love and the way in which you get to demonstrate it may take you by surprise. But it is Uranus that is also an energy of freedom and where it is that you are being asked to free yourself of those things that get in the way of healthy self-love, well, that opportunity may show up very much by surprise. But this part of the sky also connects to money that you earn and money that you spend. Now, I know it's not fun to think of unpredictable energy connected to money, that is just one way that this energy can play out. Just know that when we have such strong financial energy, it means that the money you need is there. You may need to take a few extra steps, but you are able to show up for it. And so what this says is there may be an unexpected expense that shows up right about now. It may feel as if you are gaining clarity as to where it is your prosperity is, what it is you'd rather be doing to create abundance for yourself. There may be a sense of certain financial uh, pathways or projects that you've been on changing very quickly. So these are some ways in which this energy can show up. But I'll tell you, when I look at the broader picture of the month and the energy in the middle of the month, it is so encouraging, it is so empowered and uplifting. By the time we move towards the middle of the month, it tells me that whatever transpires early in the month, you find a way to navigate it and you do so in some way to your advantage. As we get to the 19th of the month, we are going to have a new moon. Now this new moon is taking place in a part of the sky that also speaks to finances, but this is about your ability to access resources. Things like grants, loans, bursaries, insurance payments, tax returns and benefits that you may qualify for. And it is this new moon that is happening hand in hand with Mercury. Mercury has to do with news and documents and information that you receive. But this new moon is also speaking in supreme harmony with Mars. Now that beautiful Mars connection to me, it says that you have the energy to take advantage of any opportunity that does show up. This is a part of the sky that is also connected to profound and meaningful transformation, uh, regeneration, if you will, feeling changed in some way. And for some, it may even be a sense of a rebirth that comes about through steps that leave you feeling especially empowered. Now, Mars, of course, is in shadow. Next month, will go retrograde. Mars is very active this month, reaching out to key power players. I spoke of this in the Mars retrograde special horoscope, and I will link to that in the description below. But it is Mars slowly spending an unusually long time at the very foundation of your chart, speaking to this new moon that says the energy, the effort that you have spent ends up paying off, especially the energy and the effort you spend in your own time, in your own space. Where it is that you have a home-based business or you work with homes, it may very well be that it is in these places and spaces that you end up uh, facilitating greater 
prosperity and greater wealth for yourself as well ultimately what this new moon says is that there are riches within you that you have access to resources that you are well cared for and well provided for by a kind and generous universe now where it comes to matters of love venus is on the move i'm so excited to tell you about this venus has spent an unusually long time moving through a daily part of your sky that is because we've just finished off the larger venus retrograde season and it is going to be on the 8th of this month that venus will finally change signs normally she spends about four weeks per sign per year but she has been in this daily work part of your sky since the first days of april an unusually long time well now on the 8th of august she will move into your opposite sign and this is a lovely placement for you in terms of love for those of you who are open to meeting someone new this placement does suggest that there's a greater ability to attract somebody into your life who has real long-term potential for you now it is going to be this very energy that inspires you to feel like there are people that you can connect with and chances are the people that you do connect with now it feels that much easier to come together for those of you who are just starting to date someone i love venus moving into your opposite sign because it speaks to your sense of deepening connection to this person and this is where you start to consider and envision the long-term potential that could be here i just want you to be a little bit mindful because as we move to the last days of the month this venus starts getting a little stressed and that is because big power players are going to be standing across the sky and those are going to be moments of honesty asking yourself whether or not this is someone for the long term and for those of you who are in an established bond venus moving into your opposite sign is lovely it helps it to feel like your partner is that much easier to get along with that much more generous with you as well so this tends to represent a beautiful time within partnership but remember as i just said late in the month we have some stressful energy playing out so you just want to be sure that whatever it is that is transpiring ultimately it is going to allow you to get into contact with the depth of your care for each other what i love about this month for you there is so much here but i am going to say that very prosperous very wealthy new moon in the middle of the month there will be some brand new opportunity that does show up for you at that time where it is that you are working on something in your own time and space and you're hoping to access funding so that you can make it into something more permanent more grand it is going to be this new moon that helps you in that regard and where it is that you are looking to have a change of understanding one that allows you to feel transformed from the inside out well this new moon will help you facilitate a meaningful and lasting transformation now well thank you so much for watching you can get a video like this every week by logging on to nadiashaw.com sign up to be one of my superstars superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week unlimited access to special horoscopes and more all of this in the superstar space i look forward to meeting you there it'll be a great month enjoy